All right, it's chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Um, this is a Linear Technologies LM, LTM 4620, a dual 13 amp or single 26 amp DC to DC module regulator. Wow, it's a beast, 26 amps. <laughs> now, uh, the cool thing about this is it's got everything built into it. So um, it includes in the package a switching controller, all the power FETs, all the inductors, all the supporting components. You basically just have to put this part in and you're done. <laughs> so it makes it super, super easy. Um, easy comes at cost. So this is like a $75 part. Yep, 75 smackaroos. Um, for 26 amps though, that's pretty good. Um, let's see here, input is 4.6 to 16, output is 0.6 to two and a half. Um, let's see here, DC error, blah, 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 blah. And you can stack these things up. You can share the clocks between different parts, get up to 100 amps total. Uh, yeah, it, like I said, it is a beast. And so here is the schematic. This is all you have to do. Bring in your voltage, enable the run pins. That's all this does here. Just turns on the two run pins as one half of the circuit and one half of the circuit run them both at the same time. And then a couple of capacitors and uh, that there, there's all you need to know. Um, so um, I have the evaluation board that Linear Technologies sells and it is set up so, let me see here, let me take off my scope probe for a second. Uh, this is the big chip here. It's a really interesting part with some copper sticking out. I guess you can put a heat sink on it, probably need to. Um, but there's an area here where you can jumper it. And so this one's been jumpered, so it's gonna operate in the 26 amp mode, single voltage out, 26 amps. Um, so we are going to be looking at uh, the output. I have an 18 ohm resistor on the output to load it down some. And I'm going to be using a scope probe times one. And I'm going to be looking at the voltage and ground very, very short so we don't get any uh, pickup in the ground, pickup in the ground lead. And I will hook up the ground and we will take a look and I'm going to reach over here and see if the uh, see if the resistor is warming up yep it's warming up yep I feel it now <laughs> definitely feel it now okay so let's take a look at some things uh, we can bring in a multimeter we can measure the output right here and this particular board had been jumpered for five volts. So it's 4.994. Uh, and if I take off the load, it is 4.994. So it's very, very stable with and without load. So that's very, very cool. All right, let's take this off. What I wanted to show today, you've seen something similar to this in my other video. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, it was for a uh, LTM 60, uh, 4671, 4671. So yeah, you can take a look at this one. All right. So what I want to show you is the output on the oscilloscope. All right, there we go. We have, uh, let's see, two volts per division, two, four, let's put it on one volt per division and move our ground down so we can see things. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, we have five volts coming out. And uh, what I want to show today is the startup characteristic. So I'm gonna, that's the, that's the d d d go down statistic. Here's the go up statistic. See how nice and straight that, oops. Let's see here, let me do mode. Let me do a normal. So it will, it will trigger and latch on that. There we go. So that is the normal, uh, I mean the, um, power up sequence so very very linear turn on no overshoots no undershoots very very stable loop they have in their uh, 
and their voltage control. So that's very, very nice. Slew rate limited, turns on nice and easy. I really, really like it. And if the power uh, goes off, you can see uh, some, some ground bounce here. There we go, I've kind of whacked it whacked it on and off. You can see it's, 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 it's behaving well. It's behaving really, really well. Now they're very, 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 very uh, happy with a circuit inside. And so they have a thing here to be able to test that. So it's this right here. On the bottom of the board is a FET to ground. So you can temporarily short out the part um, just by a TTL signal into this port here. Now we have already have five volts here. So if I take a wire and I just short these two center pins together, that will turn on that FET. And that FET will pull the uh, uh, voltage to ground temporarily. I won't hold it on there for very long. Let's take a look at what that looks like when I do that. Oop, that's a different, that's a different thing. Never mind that. There we go. So um, you can see that that pull down to ground, it's, it's taking a look and it's, it's trying to come back and it says, nope, I'm short circuited. I have short circuit protection. And so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start over. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm going to wait, wrong knob. Um, I'm going to wait until everything looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on again. And then here's that slew rate limit again. So again, very, very well behaved in a short circuit condition. Uh, it's very, very nice. But like I said, 75 bucks, it better be nice. Uh, yeah. All right. And what did I say? Chip of the day. It's an LTM 4620. Uh, whoa, look at that. I got, my camera is going down, going down, going down. All right, <laughs> there you go.